I just got back into my hotel and normally I would film an intro and an outro uh, at the place that I'm at, except the National Museum of American History was absolutely slammed. So me doing really any sort of commentary or me where I'm filming myself doing an intro and outro and walking would have been a bad idea. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to do it here in my hotel room. So. I'll be honest, there were some moments where even filming was a, a challenge. So I'm still here in Washington, D.C., and today I'm going to the National Museum of American History. And when I think about our country, the U.S., you know, it's really one of the youngest countries in the world, which is kind of crazy because our country plays such a pivotal role in so many historical moments throughout the last 300 years, 250, 300 years. This actually is a bell that would uh, ring to let workers know that new shifts have started. It's from Stevens Mill in Andover, Mass. That's pretty cool. That's actually close to home. So this is a fire engine apparatus actually, and they would put water in the middle there and get both guys, one guy on each end, to uh, pump the water out of the middle and uh, into the fire. See the hose connections there? It's from 1840. 1842, hand pumped fire engine. It's pretty neat. Did the thing about these old clocks, except that I can always appreciate the craftsmanship it took to make them. A see-through ballot box. <laughs> what could go wrong? Interesting. Surprised they had something like that actually exist at one point in time. Arguably the most hated man in all of the colonies in the 1700s. I would have thought that'd be bigger. A musket and a powder horn. I guess you'd call them tools of the birth of our own country. The promotion of presidential candidates has always been a thing. The main difference is the how. How promotions of presidential candidates has changed. I think I just find half of this stuff creepy. Good lord. Is that a spider? Now that's just, that's an awesome, awesome look. Holy crap, are you serious? 
someone actually made this? To me, this is just kind of creepy, really. Lighting campaign, torches and lanterns. Creepy. More of these camp presidential campaign uh, items. Got that from Roosevelt there. Ah, Johnson. President Johnson. I don't know if there was any man for the 60s. Reagan and Bush in 1980. There was a lot going on in the world in 1980. Politically, on and off the Olympic ice. Clinton and Gore had some sunglasses? Now this is really unique. George Washington on America's ketchup. What? And then there is the MAGA hat. God, it's always Florida. You now, by the end of it, I don't think anyone was with Nixon. Oh, look at that. Speak of the devil himself. Wait a minute. I know all those towns. something like that. MLK Jr. I can't even begin to think of the daily inertia that was in that man's life. I can appreciate the craftsmanship. Good God. This clock shows us America's history. America always rallies together in truly dark times. In World War II, one of the things you could do if you weren't in the service was buy war bonds to help our soldiers continue to fight. Oh yeah, that's right, because we all know kids want to become lobbyists. Protesting has a very strong history here in the U.S. That's how our country came to be, by protesting the British. Massive protests founded this country in the second half of the 1700s. The women's rights movement began in the, in the mid-1800s. Numerous protests and movements all throughout the 60s and to this day still occur. So in February of 1960, four African-American college students sat down at this counter in Greensboro, North Carolina. It was whites only. Their request was refused, and when they were asked to leave, they remained in their seats. The sit-in drew national attention. It's actually pretty cool that they have this here. I must say, it's pretty unique. Who would think to, uh, you know, save this counter? But pretty neat.
Now, I can't imagine being a kid with all that crazy noise going on in the world all around you and then coming to school five days a week and trying to squeeze into this desk. Baseball is America's favorite pastime, just not mine. And because it has always been at the heart of society, the sport has always had to undergo change or it could be used as a catalyst for change. Shortly following World War II's end, Jackie Robinson became the first African-American ball player in Major League Baseball. Even though the sport eventually changed, society took a little while longer, unfortunately. Yes, it's nice to see someone from the Sox is in here. Hank Aaron's batting glove. He was the first player to beat Babe Ruth's all-time home run record. And I think he sadly passed away in early 2021. Hands down, one of the goats of baseball though. Is it bad that the only thing I'm kind of taking away from this particular thing is that this piano looks pretty good from being almost 200 years old? Now coming up in the near future in part two of my time here, I'll see artifacts from computers to World War II to Dorothy's Red Shoes. Make sure you tune in and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next week at the same time, same day, same channel.